yeah, slippy. Got to go steady. Yeah, it's wet. A lot of rain. So yeah, uh, welcome back. I'm uh, heading just very slowly with a bit of a sweat on too. Up to the Hay Bluff and then on up to the Olcon Valley. They call it the Olcon Valley. It's in Herefordshire. The Herefordshire part of the Black Mountains. And if I can, I'm going to... Um, Oh, the views. Oh, lovely. Yeah, if I can, I'm going to uh, find a camp spot. A little spot on this spur that I see on the map. Things might be different on the ground. I don't know. But yeah, I've just been to Hay on Wye. Well, I've just come out of Hay on Wye. Just spent an hour and a half with my good friend Mike Thomas. So, shout out to you, Mike. Uh, really good chat, that. Mike and I have known each other many years since we were teenagers. You may remember Mike from our 2017 walk up Pum Lumen. Uh, if you want to check out the link above and down below, it's a really good walk. So yeah, that's Mike Thomas. So yeah, just making my way up. Just slipping on this mud. This mud was really, really, well, it's like grease, isn't it? It's been a lot of rain. So nice and steady up to the Olcon Valley. I want to wake up in the morning to a magnificent view. Uh, the Olcon Valley is a cul-de-sac valley. On the eastern slope, well the eastern slope of the valley is the Black Hill, Cat's Back, which is one of the highest points in southern England. And its western slopes are formed by the Black Mountain uh, with the Offers Dyke on top. And right in the middle, sandwiched in the middle, is the Olcon Valley and the Olcon Brook which feeds the River Mono and then the River Wye. So yeah, we're camping there tonight. I don't really want to slip again so I'm going to go nice and steady. Alright, I'll bring you back. The views back towards Hay and Wye are always lovely from here. So the next time, next time we talk will be yeah, pretty much at the base of Hay Bluff. There's not much to film, in, in fact, on the way up. It's quite rural. Mixed woodland here. Autumn is uh, creeping in, or has crept in already. Yeah, and it's really pleasant. There was supposed to be a weather window. But who knows? Whatever we get, right? All right, I'll bring you back. Good so far. sharing this path now with this uh, little pony that's just emerged. Hello little pony, what's your name? <laughs> My name's Getaway today. Yeah, I don't blame you. I'm getting away as well. Stepping onto the office dike up this way. Hopefully, get out the wind a bit and share some thoughts. Pretty soon, we'll be looking back the other way towards Herefordshire. All right, looking beautiful so far. We've just come out of the wind. I can see some people coming down. There's quite a few people out, in fact. It is a very popular area, Hay Bluff, Tumpa, Gospel Pass, into the uh, Vale of Uist, which is where Lantony Priory is, called it the Vale of Uist. 
So yeah, plenty of people out today. All right guys, I'll bring you back when I'm on the slopes. So, who we got here? What's our names? Yuan. Yuan. Gwyn. Gwyn. Raymond. And Raymond. Well, that's not, is that a Welsh name, Raymond? Uh, no, I think it's probably French, I think. Originally. Yeah, that's right. A long time ago. <laughs> but guys, I was just talking about place names and these guys, I could, do you know what? In the distance, I could hear people talking Welsh. And I just said to him now, I said, did I hear you guys talk Welsh? Yeah, yeah. So what was it? Lech something and... Chlechi Chladron. Chlechi Chladron. You see Welsh guys? Do you know what I mean? I said to him, go easy on me, won't you? <laughs> but anyway, so the Welsh language, place names is beautiful. And I thank these guys for sharing me their beautiful language with me. So uh, cheers, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, what, what was that? That was thank you. Croiso, which is welcome. You're welcome. All right, cheers guys. Yeah, All right, sure. peace. Yeah. Um, we've been enjoying this view too, guys. Well, <clears throat> that was pretty mental. After I left those uh, lovely Welsh guys, my camera, I've, here's the Alcon Valley, by the way, guys. I mean, I've come, I've come over the mountain and I missed some fantastic views and light. The light was spectacular, but my camera, just took my data, just wouldn't give me back my data. And uh, the camera view wouldn't come on, just kept saying, you know, uh, enter recovering data, enter recovering data, kept taking the uh, SD card out, putting it back in. No, just would not operate. And uh, I was just coming over the, the brow of the mountain there, see the Olcon Valley, and I'll tell you what, I said, I'll give it one more shot and I'll leave, because it said, Recovering data, please wait. So I thought, right, okay, I'll recover the data and I'll wait. Even if it takes 20 minutes, the whole battery, I'll wait. And do you know what? Do you know what I needed to do? <laughs> All I needed to do was wait six, seven minutes and uh, the camera came back to life. So yeah, I've missed all that, but we're here. We're at the Alcon Valley now. Yeah, oh, you know, I was, I was going, oh, blimey. Come all this way, <clears throat> and the camera's gone on the blink. Some things, eh? Just a bit of patience, that's, that's the lesson. You know, I ought to have waited, and I was a bit too impatient. So I kept switching the camera on and off, and no, it didn't work, I needed to wait. So yeah, patience. So right, I'm gonna find this camp spot. I'm gonna turn the camera off now, and uh, hopefully get to this, uh, yeah, I see this flat spot on the map. It might be different on the ground, I don't know, but um, we'll see. But yeah, fantastic evening, nice and fresh. Uh, and in actual fact, we're out of the wind here, which is really good. Okay, bring you back, bit of drama. I thought to myself coming through that, I thought, ah, bogland. And then I was looking uh, across the way there, that's the eastern slopes of uh, the Black Hill, the Cat's Back. And I thought maybe there's a little spot across the other way. And then I came across this little oasis here, which is right on that little plinth of land I was speaking of. You can see the valley now. So this is where I'm going to camp, right here. What a spot, what an amazing spot. And all you have to do is come off the beaten track a bit Place your faith in it. Well, I didn't know whether there was going to be anything or not, to be honest. But there is, I found it. I found my spot, and there's a nice flat spot over there. Absolutely fantastic. I looked at the map, and uh, I kind of uh, had this hunch that this, um, I mean, it drops down there, completely drops down there. Uh, and I thought, I had this hunch that on the edge here, there's going to be a flat spot. I didn't know what was going to be here. Might be bog. Uh, I don't know, it might have been full of heather, who knows. But no, here we are. Check it out. Here's my spot. Right here. Right here. I'm going to put my tent right there. <laughs> right opposite the valley. Here maybe. Oh yeah, this is this is the driest spot I've seen. Yeah, I'm gonna put my tent here. Oh, 
What a view, what an amazing view. Superb. I'm kind of lying into the slope there. So it's a gentle slope, but it's nice and dry. And yeah, my door faces the valley. So yeah, absolutely superb. One of the best pitches in the area, I'd say. I mean, not far from here, I have another good pitch, which uh, I keep to myself. That too is a superb pitch, but yeah, this is a real treat. <laughs> the Olcon Valley in Herefordshire on the eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains. Yeah, I should get a good night's sleep here. We've got a 54% moon tonight. It's uh, it's on its way, the full moon, and it's hanging right above the valley. Yeah, there you go, there's the moon. I mean, I, this isn't a zoom camera, but we're going as far as we can. So there's the moon. Halfway to full. And there's the valley. And down below is the Elkhorn Brook. There's the brook cutting its way through the valley like it has done for thousands of years because this is a glacial cum which was created about 12,000 years ago. All right, that's it. I'm going to get some food on and I'll bring you back and we'll talk about the Olcon Valley, what Olcon means. Absolutely wonderful. Thinking about my brother, you know, I always do. Paul would love this. He'd be pitched around here somewhere. Yeah, what a treat. Okay, guys. I'll bring you back. So yeah, what have we got for tea, for dinner, at the head of the Alcon Valley here? Well, we've got more couscous. And the, the reason for that is because it's so simple. You know, just boil water, add it, and there you have it. So yeah, we've got Mediterranean-style couscous this time, and not lemon and coriander. Um, we've also tried... We, we, we have tried something different. Uh, we've bought some Slaska Best. Best Silesian, is it Sile, Silesian sausage? Anyway, this is, this is ready, to, ready to eat. All I have to do really is heat it up. But I've never tried these before. What was it last time? Um... I can't remember what it was last time. Anyhow, it's not chorizo. <laughs> so there you go, sausage. And they look really good too. Quite thick, aren't they? Yeah, I like them. Yeah, <clears throat> brought the spirit burner tonight. Sizzling away. Yeah, they're nice. <clears throat> they're really nice. I'll put details in the description down below. Mm. Yeah, so this is tea. As I said, a, a slight variant, different sausage uh, this time around. And I remembered what I brought out last time with Andy uh, at the Nant City on Bothy. If, if you haven't watched that video, the Nant City on Bothy video, uh, check out the link above and down below. Uh, we had a really good time. Got there at night uh, via quite a gnarly route. And uh, yeah, we had the bothy to ourselves. But yeah, then I brought some um, corn 
chicken pieces. Because I don't like to buy chicken. Um, Herefordshire and Powys and Shropshire are the chicken basket of the nation, guys. And um, yeah, the excess phosphate is is completely ruining our rivers. So I don't like to buy too much meat. I don't like to buy meat all the time. I bought these sausages this time around, but I'll be I'll be back to um, some meat substitute before long. So I don't, you know, I don't buy meat all the time, but yeah, I thought I'd treat myself this time around. Yeah, dinner report. Uh, the onion and the couscous is really nice. It was nice to add the chilli as well. So, uh, yeah, it's got quite a kick to it. I added more than I, uh, than I thought. Yeah, the stars are out. Absolutely beautiful. It, it was forecast to clear. It took a while to clear up today, but... Yeah, what a wonderful night. So the stars are all out. The moon's out. I'm waiting for my brew. I'm going to put my extra base layer on now, on top. Because, yeah, nice and fresh up here. I look forward to getting in my bag, in fact, <clears throat> just to get warm. I ain't got any uh, mobile phone or smartphone or anything like that, so I, I don't watch YouTube videos, so it's not about watching YouTube videos. Get into deep listening. Uh, I'm not getting all hippified or anything, you know, <laughs> or uh, religious or uh, teachy, but yeah, deep listening. Uh, plenty of entertainment inside, if you get my meaning. Alright, nice warm brew. I've had some tea, and I've been looking forward to this brew, in fact. You know, when it's cold. Yeah, just the job. I've got my little lighting goodies in here. I keep them batteries, my triple A's. But also uh, this neat little thing, which is uh, really, well, it's very superb. It's very light, and um, which way is it going on? Yeah, it's very light, i.e. lightweight, but it casts out a really good light too. Uh, and you'll never guess what it is. <laughs> I mean, I've put what I've put on the end, I've put a little lightweight carabiner on the end, and I just stick it up in the tent. And yeah, works a treat. It's a dog light. That's what it is. I was just cruising around Amazon one evening and I came across this. And I thought that'll work for a tent light. And it does. Works a treat. Yeah, so that's the dog light. A simple dog light. It hangs around the, uh, the neck of a dog. And uh, the good thing about it is you can change the angle of the light that's projected it swivels so yeah it's a good little good bit of kit and it's of course it's weatherproof it's for a dog <laughs> i just put a carabiner on it and just hang it hang it in the tent all right i just uh, shared with you everything you needed to know about the old valley and the sod's law of it was I wasn't recording and that was conveyed with passion now I've got to share it with you knowing that this is the second take <laughs> all right so what about what is the old con valley about oops hold on a second let me just get this piece here and I'm gonna read this piece uh, I'm holding the camera because I haven't got a tripod so um this is what I read out to you uh, prior to me realising that I wasn't recording. It goes like this, and the Alcon Valley, very interesting. Uh, the historical links to the place name. Uh, chatting to those Welsh guys earlier on. Now, let me just take these glasses off just for a moment. Yeah, chatting to those Welsh guys earlier on. You know, they, they were talking about Hlech, Hlech, Hlech. Hlack, hlock, hlack, like hlock, hlack, double L E C H, which means slate. And I was talking about co-ed major, my friend down uh, at co-ed major, Ross, his name is, uh, um, quarrying slate. 
but it's not co-ed major. They said it's coid. Coid major. Coid major. Meaning wood. Coid means wood. So it's fantastic meeting those guys earlier. I mean, how about that? I, I'm thinking about place names. That's what I was, I was sat on the side of Hay Bluff there thinking about place names. And I hear in the distance these Welsh guys talking in Welsh. And I stop them. I said, hey, do I hear you talking in Welsh? I said, well, you met them earlier. I, just, I, I uh, spoke to them earlier, didn't I? I said, go easy on me. <laughs> it was quite funny, actually, to be honest. So, okay, the Old Con Valley. Lying to the northwest of Longtown, the Old Con is a small cul-de-sac valley, forming part of the eastern escarpment of the Black Mountains. It is bounded on the eastern side by the Cat's Back Ridge, which I shared earlier. Its Welsh name is Crib Garth, where Crib is a 12th century word meaning crest, top or summit, and the Hatterall Ridge on its western side. Though the Ocon Valley now lies in Herefordshire, it is culturally Welsh according to the predominant place name language. So when you walk through these valleys, and when you walk through the western part of Herefordshire, what you see are a lot of Welsh place names on buildings, uh, lanes, uh, impressive old um, houses, uh, and areas, districts. Hills, hills even. Uh, Monaferdin is down there. I mean, it's, that's a Welsh, Welsh name, and yet it's in Herefordshire. <clears throat> so yeah, the name Olcon, along with the eponymous Olcon Brook, which rises in the valley and eventually joins the Mono, is generally thought to derive from Gulki. Now, if I if I read it as it looked, it would it would be Gulki, but which means to wash, to clean, and it's spelt G O L C H I. In place names, the initial G is usually dropped when written, so it would it would it would sound like this, Alki, Alki. Now we're getting closer to the Alcon Valley now, Alcon, right? The name may relate to the medieval and later practice of washing sheep when they came down off the mountains prior to being sheared or or sent to market. Not long after the dissolution, Thomas Tusser, in 500th Points of Good Husbandry, 1573, wrote, Wash sheep for the better, where water doth run, and let him go cleanly and dry in the sun. I mean, how, how awesome is that? I absolutely love that. So, we now know that the, the old con, sorry, I, I dip in the camera there. Uh, the old con, the old con has a direct link to rearing sheep. Now sheep have been reared in these mountains and in these valleys for a thousand years. Sheep made this, the these areas, made these communities. I mean, uh, Lempster, for example, in North Herefordshire, built its fortune on sheep. It's a wool town. So yeah, um, these people around here back in the medieval period would have probably taken their sheep to Lempster. So sheep have gone on to inspire the place name even, you know, Alcon, to wash, to clean, i.e. to wash clean sheep. So I find that very fascinating. Uh, I couldn't come here today without knowing where, where I was camping, without knowing something about the Alcon Valley. And this is what I discovered. Can you hear that? Good morning, guys. That was a uh, red grouse. Uh, it's funny because I was lay here just now and I was thinking about how I got here last night. And um, there was there were two people behind me on the trail uh, on the office dike, and I was trying to get my data back on my phone. And I'd finished doing it really, and I decided to carry on walking. But the vibes, that they weren't very nice people. <laughs> I'd met some nice people, but strangely and oddly, these guys had some really bad vibes. So I decided to step off the trail and go across the mountain to get here. I, would, I just wanted to get away from these two people. And I was really glad that I did, because I, I had to go through the bog and the heather. But 
Yeah, listen to that. But it meant that I got to see the red grouse. And I've been listening to them this morning. So, yeah, what a wonderful sound. So, you know, I got to experience the mountain proper uh, last night. And um, it's good to know that there are so many red grouse up here. So what kind of morning have we got, guys? Whoops, apologies for uh, just knocking the camera there. Let's have a look. Um, I know what kind of morning we've got, but you don't. Here we are. What a glorious morning. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. <laughs> hey, what a morning. We can't see 50 meters in front of us. Well, 25 meters. I can see some sheep here. Whoop. Yeah, apologies. Keep the camera steady. I just knocked it again. Oh, I can see the sheep here. I find it amazing that this is their home. This is what they do. This is where they are <laughs> all the time. Same with the ponies. Same with the red grouse. So yeah, we cannot see the valley this morning. It's there, but it is uh, fully in the cloud. Yeah, we got a good view of the valley uh, last night, and it was spectacular. This kind of, this trip kind of concludes um, a story uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, some of you will know, um, I ended up on top of a hill near Longtown. And I went there to find a um, a view that Paul and I had experienced back in 2014 when we had hiked the River Mono. And I found the view and it faced the Olcon Valley and the Black Hill. Uh, a good many of you will know, will know what um, outing I'm speaking of. showed long town just kind of going off into the distance with the Olcon Valley in the background. It's an absolutely spectacular view and I was really chuffed to find it. So now I'm actually at the tip of the Olcon Valley, uh, literally not 50 meters from me is just a cliff edge. It's just a drop. So yeah, we, <laughs> we want to be careful with how we uh, get off this mountain today I kind of know the general direction I uh, just got to find the path but yeah um, we're here on the tip of the Alcon Valley right at the top end um, not this morning looking out because we can't we, we've got no view but we did last night so yeah I've kind of um, concluded a story I wanted to share with you what the Alcon Valley looked like from inside looking out rather than from outside looking in. So yeah, um, I'm really pleased that I've done that. What I'll do is I'll come back another day. I'll come back another day when the conditions are better and um, wake up to a morning sunrise. That's what I wanted, but I never got it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack up and uh, gonna walk out, I'm gonna get some water from the brook. Uh, got no coffee this morning. I'm gonna have breakfast on the hoof, basically. And um, yeah, get going. Um, I'm gonna head down the valley, the Alcon Valley, in the mist, in the clag, around the Black Hill, to Craswell, up onto Kevin Hill, and then down to Dorston, where I'm going to catch my bus. It's about a seven mile walk. Uh, the bus is at 14.03 and it is eight o'clock in the morning now. So we should get it. Right, get off this uh, mountain now. Kind of know where we're going. There's a little boggy part here. 
Uh, then we descend down. Yeah, about 12 o'clock in front of us. I've not been here before, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, through here. Now then, I've got to pick up this path. And you know what it's like. <laughs> In the clag and the mist, guys, you can miss it. Uh, I kind of, I, yeah, I kind of know where I am. I'll bring you back when I find it. Yeah, look at the amount of rain last night. Absolutely sodden. These rivers, the Y, is probably flooded right now. I don't know. But anyhow, I'm still trying to find my way off this mountain. I think I found the trail I came in on. I'm not too certain, but... Um, is, it, is it down here? That's the only thing you see. I can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, I think I've got it right. Yeah, I'm going with my feelings. That's good. Yeah. good bit of uh, internal navigation because uh, I got a bit disorientated up there. Oh, listen to that water, isn't it beautiful? The Ocon Brook, as we uh, discovered last night, it's all about cleaning sheep. Ocon, the word. Right, I'm going to get a bit of water. Yeah, we're heading down there. But there's the trail. Well, in actual fact, it's, it's up there, but um, we're heading through the valley. All right, I'm going to get some water. I'm going to pack up now. There's nothing to see. So I'm going to finish here I've found my way out so that's good uh, easy to get disorientated up there can't see much <clears throat> all right if you like that uh, give us a thumbs up guys I thoroughly enjoyed it uh, kind of warmed up into that vlog didn't feel it at first but yeah it began to open up a bit uh, if you've got a comment, please do. Please make a comment down below. That view, well, that was worth it, wasn't it? And I found a great new pitch. So I'll be back. I'll be back to camp there uh, in better conditions. And if you want to subscribe, please do subscribe. Uh, I always look forward to hearing from you, from new people. Uh, getting out and about, as I say, discovering new pitches here. Yeah, so uh, please do reach out. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, I always get back to you if you comment. Okay, that's it from the Olcon Brook, from the Olcon Valley. Until next time, take good care. Bye now.